And we're back. What's going on, y'all? This your boy, The Rain Show. Can we continue on with our playthrough of Telltales, The Walking Dead? Last time. Mark, are you okay, dog? What the? Yo! What the hell happened? Please. Someone. It's Mark. Oh, my God. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. And that's what your goofy ass get. You fucking idiot. No, you're fucking forcelessly. Oh. You Hello. ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. Really? Fuck you. <laughs> Steps. Get him, Mark. I said, don't move, asshole. I don't need to kill you. They won't kill you. Let's go. That happened, and we completed the episode pretty much. So now we're on episode three. Uh, if you're new to the channel, first off, welcome. <laughs> Those of you already subscribed to the channel and are already a part of the pack, uh, thank y'all for coming with me on this journey, y'all. Let's see what uh, episode three brings, because episode two was Jesus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, enough rambling. Episode three time. Leo! All right, episode three. <clears throat> Looks like this is our lucky day. This might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Such a boy. No sign of anybody eating anybody else. Okay. <laughs> comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Nah. We should go. Motel's run its course and it's not safe. Well, Pretty that's much. what you think. You should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. You sound kind of mad there, Kenny. <laughs> like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Pretty much. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. <laughs> the boy. No kidding. All right, let's see. Uh, They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. There's no safe way through that mess. Not at all. Let's see. Uh, we can try. like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. You're right. Let's go. What's this? Huh. That's an idea. Uh, 
Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. <laughs> I did what I had to, and you know it. Don't think she gonna be too happy with you after you even killed a dad, dog. I'm just saying. Alright. The girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week. I hope not. Hope it ain't worth a day. Let's go. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? Yeah. I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry, you made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Okay. <laughs> Shit! Shit! Ow. Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. She Aiden. <laughs> That's a distraction, if any. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Say less. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Oh, <laughs> 
All right. Incoming. Come on, Lee. Yeah, we gotta go. Up and over. We're still clear. It's awesome. Oh, oh shit. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not today. Not today. Not the motherfucking day. <laughs> Kenny, I swear to God, don't you do it. <laughs> Thank you. Fridge. Let's fucking get out. Yeah, we gotta go. Joy is back. <laughs> R.I.P. my guy. What was that? I'm everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Really, Kenny? Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind, though. I found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. <laughs> nice. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. So Looks Louis. like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. That ain't funny, Kenny. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't Bro, start with me. look here, children. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side, Kenny. This is about everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people. Not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. No. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked that wasn't... no hypocrites. And you can use everything else. No, she was, was dead. dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. He's right. 
We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Oh, Lord. <clears throat> She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Ken, that's not fair. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. Well, thank you, Carly. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. That's true. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay. I am going to ask about these supplies, though. Lily, what's going on? It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Okay. For real? Who? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Let me. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I mm. see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? <laughs> I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Duck. Duck. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? Duck. What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. <laughs> I know who it is. This man called me Batman. <laughs> you can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell us so. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Ah, nice. I've done that before. See, it's <laughs> the same. 
Um, kind of. Uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. I actually remember, uh, leaf rubbing. <laughs> Do you like Back it here? here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. True. Uh, I don't want. I don't think it was Clem. Nah. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Uh, yeah, you guys trust uh, trust trusted one there. More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, okay. we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Okay. Try a little harder with Lily, dog. Need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come. We'll have to do what's best for our families, and that's what we'll do. We all grown here. I can act show. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. Okay. I forgot, though. Yeah, what about the guns? What's, what? What? About the guns. Don't you start. No. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Mm -hmm. Is. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Uh, come back to you, Ben. One second, though. I'll be back. Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What What's I going wanted on? to say was I've been thinking a lot about you. Uh -huh. All right, what about what about? You're a convicted killer. Carly. Jesus. Carly, come on now. I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. 
You're right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. Very true. So you'll do it then? I'll yeah. let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. It's for the group. Oh. You'll thank me later. <laughs> now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. <laughs> I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Mm -hmm. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. We all grown here. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. The and the batteries might be in backwards. You know what? It you uses know. just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. That's it. Okay. What are your uh, thoughts on Lily? Do you have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. <coughs> she keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. Hmm. There's something drawn there. A and X. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Oh, Arch. God. <laughs> Duck. Man. What do you think it is? I thought I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Oh my god. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask you about this flashlight, dog. Uh, I can't ask about the flashlight no more. Okay. Let's see. Hey, bro, you got any chalk? Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my, well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Hi, guys. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Kenny, come it up. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Not at all. Is Duck safe around you? Yes. Of course. Good. But you should know. If we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. 
Okay. I appreciate it, though. Come here. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Tell us so. No, no it's no, okay. I'm okay. Thank you, Clem. Hey. <laughs> duck. Wet duck. I found something. What is Strong it? duck. I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Duck, Good job. Thank you, Duck. <laughs> uh oh, God. High five, Duck. Cool. Clem, real quick, Duck. Give me a second. Clementine, I gotta tell you something. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. Okay. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Okay. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. Okay. That's probably for the best. <laughs> hey, Have found you found anything, anything else? else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <coughs> I won't tell her. <laughs> okay, I won't. Thank you, Duck. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. <laughs> I can, can tell I talk passion. to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I think you should know. No. I can't paint Kenny in that light. No. Well, he did dog me out, though, but. Uh. Oh, wait. At the dairy. That's at the dairy. No, man. Um. It's not my place to tell. It's not my place to tell. It doesn't matter. Mary died. Did you kill him? No. He didn't tell you? Nobody tells me anything. How long has everybody else known about you? They haven't. Well, thanks. I'm not happy to hear it, but thanks. Hey. Find anything? Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go.
We all need to be on the same page. Come on. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. Oh. I was sent to prison before the plague. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit, knew who you were, and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. <laughs> uh, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. Mm. I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo, if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah. Uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Mm -hmm. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. <laughs> I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. He was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. Last thing. Do you have any uh, chalk I can borrow? Like Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any. <laughs> no. Why would I? I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Mm-hmm. Hell, he the only one I gotta tell. Okay. Hey Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely, is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. Uh, okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> I was uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. What, um, what were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. I, uh, told, I told ben. ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. something. More chalk. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Gave us hell. They've been quiet for days now. Hmm. There's a grate down there. What? You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. 
Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the oh. fuck is that? Y'all better get your asses out, out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! We're gonna start kicking indoors any second. Lily. Oh, boy. The hell are you? Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever okay. it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. <coughs> you made the biggest mistake of your life! Nah, shit. <laughs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew! Stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all! And, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Run, y'all. Ah, uh, uh. oh, damn. Yep, that was on me. Okay. Woo! We gotta get out of here. No shit. Get those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. I am not good at this. Come on. Pull around, shit for brains. He's back there. Come on. Hurry! Damn, you saved our asses. Get inside! Either of me! Help! That's oh no, the hell are you not? <laughs> Actually, pause. I'm in the video here. Um what should we call it? And then I'm going to continue on. So yeah, because I'm, I'm approaching the time where the video will stop recording and whatnot. So I'm in the video here. And the next video that will not be an intro, uh, we're just going to jump dead into it. So, yeah, we're just going to go from there. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, Lee finally got his word out of what he did to everybody. And it done went down. <laughs> it done went down. So we are not staying at this hotel no more. But if you guys enjoyed this video, it was kind of... Not that productive this go around. Eh. It, it, it wasn't that productive this run. Nothing to, oh my god, about this uh, episode. But if you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Those of you who are not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified as to when I upload my videos. I try to upload as much as possible, even with my shitty connection. Just become a part of the pack, y'all. We on the road to 100. Come on, y'all, road to 100. Those of you already subscribed to the channel and are a part of the pack, please share this video and get some more people to join the pack. But for now, this is your boy, Deranged Okami, saying see y'all next time, and boy!